Alright, here we are. Canadian junkyard. Okay, pro tip here. What? I can't hear you. This wagon's too loud. What? Hey everybody. Welcome back to your favorite YouTube show, Fixing Random Crap with Craig. We're uh, at home today, because we're all in uh, self-isolation, staying away from people. Hello! Hi. And, uh, you know, we try to go for a walk or two every day, get outside, get some air. And uh, these things are so loud. So it's impossible to hear what anyone's saying. My wife and I can't have any kind of conversation whatsoever. Um, so it's a big challenge. So we'll drive this back here. Uh, and uh, new to the show, Stephanie has uh, did some research and came up with a really cool fix. So I'll let her uh, give a little demo. Okay. Pretty loud still. found a couple blog posts that used some old bike tires. Uh, we'll link link that somewhere so you can see. We'll put it in the comments below, yeah. Credit. Um, and they actually popped the tires off and I was like, well, I don't understand why I need to do that. So took I took the tires like, off of the race car here. Took the axles off and popped the tires off and drilled holes. Uh, I was too lazy for that and I figured there must be an easier way. So Lazy, no. <laughs> so I just glued with PL Premium. Uh, the back tires, and I wanted to see if it would work. So here's a little demonstration of just the, the rear tires. <laughs> oh, Ava! Ava, here! Don't don't move that right now. We're doing a demo of how quiet this is. Wow! Wonderful. Can hear everything. So, Incredible. I am going to do the front ones today, and we could give you a little uh, a little demo when that's done. Yeah, we'll walk. Uh, we'll take everybody along for the ride with us. So, mm -hmm. so we'll be back with more when we're ready to uh, work on those front tires. See you soon. Okay, so you see that these uh, kitchen scissors work in uh, quite well, actually, mm -hmm. on this tire. Worked you... the best. I tried garden shears, tin snips. Uh, what else? Anyway, this is the best. Best. And that's what I used to cut the wire off of the. Because there's wires on either side of the of the old bike tires. Of the old bike tire, there's a wire. There's a wire. Where does the wire live? Just on the outside here. Oh. So I had trimmed. So it helps create that seal. That wow. Okay, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. So that's something you have to Another trip. pro tip there. Well, you won't be able to glue it on without it. Okay, cool. So this is working well. We'll let you finish cutting this off, and uh, we'll be back when we're ready to make our measurement. Okay, so we've uh, put the car up on our homemade jack. And uh, what's going to happen next year, Stephanie? Uh, well, I'm just going to scrape off a bit because we did use this on the block. Just to get any loose dirt. Uh, Mama. Could, I guess, Mama. clean it more than this, but some wise person said we're not building a piano here. Oops, uh, yeah. That is, it sounds like a really wise person that said that. <laughs> Oh, man down. Oh. We'll be back. Okay. So I just measured on the outside, so it needs to go on the outside of this because of the way the the tire kind of concaves. Is that the right word I'm looking for? Just the way that the tire is shaped, I guess. Shaped, it needs to be towards it? the outside of the tire, yeah. so we can't put it in the, directly in the middle of the wheel. It needs to be to the side a little bit. Yeah, so I measured it out, and it's going to give a little snip here. There we go. That piece is no good. You're falling a lot. You okay, bud? Yeah, you're all right. That one was on the grass, so that one was better. So, we got our trusty LePage PL Premium. Yeah. Let's show the uh, spin that around there. That is the stuff right yeah. there, construction grade. Hey, bud, you want to come up and see this? Sure. Whoa. Yeah, I'll get you next, Ava. See, watch mommy. She like that. Ooh. Putting a nice bead of that stuff on, being very uh, generous with it. Yeah. I will smooth it out too. I had an old rag, I'll have to find that in a second. Another pro tip for this uh, PL Premium stuff is if you can just put a, a screw or even a. Uh, 
A wall anchor works. A wall really, anchor, really one of those well. plastic wall anchors. Just stuff it into the uh, the hole there, and then pull it out with a pair of pliers afterwards. You can just keep reusing this tube yeah. for uh, quite I'm a while. Okay, yeah, pausing. Okay, we're back. Okay. Artist at work. Oh, this is the wrong piece. This is not the right piece. Uh oh. This was the piece. We got a problem. <laughs> we got a problem, folks. Oh, right, Don't let Hudson get at that. That's already uh, pre pre -glued. No, it's pre peel, premiumed. Hudson, do not touch that. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, you stay over there. There we go. Tighten it up. Bring it together a bit. And then make sure it's all kind of... I feel like it needs to go in a little bit. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Oh, I lost the camera angle there for a second. Sorry. Okay, and then um, I got some duct tape last time, and I just duct taped this in place. I squeeze that. Cool. Like that. Pause it for a second, please. Pause it. Why? Pause. No, no, hold. We're right in the middle of something. Ah! This is the exciting part of the video. Daddy, help me! I'm, <laughs> I'm slipping. I got you. You're not okay, gonna fall I'll go get some I'm duct slipping. tape, and then I'll duct tape that chunk in place. Daddy, okay, we'll be back. Slipping. Okay, so we're just gonna. Duct tape that in place. You notice that it kind of wants to slide off Sliding a little bit. It's a little off. harder with this half piece. Yeah, the big piece didn't do this as much, I should say. It did do it, but... The pressure is on it to want to slide, so well, the tape will hopefully help with that. Looks good. And I can get some other chunks of tape. Oops. The yeah. stuff, uh, you want to get it off your hands immediately. When, yeah. uh, so what we can do is keep it. That needs to slide. There you go. And, um, well, we'll see if we can try it out tonight, but usually overnight it'll be cured. We'll give it a full 24 hours, eh? Yeah. There. That looks pretty yeah, that's good. looking pretty good there, yeah. Mm -hmm. If it can hold that spot. And then a little clean up on the tire just for, uh, you know. <laughs> for aesthetics. Aesthetics. <laughs> I want this to look uh, super pro, obviously. I think you need another piece of tape here. Okay. This is my second uh, guest appearance on your show here. This is going to be an uh, honor. Two, uh, Two episodes in a row where you are the Holy star. Holy moly. Man, I'm, go. gonna get, I'm about to get bumped off my own show. Oh, you got a little goo right there. Okay, that's looking great. Okay. So we'll do the same on the other tire. Um, but it'll be the same process exactly. So okay. we'll spare you guys on the video for that. And uh, hopefully the next time we're live, we'll be for a uh, live test out. Mm -hmm. See how she uh, how she worked out. All right, we'll be back. Say cheese, Hudson. Okay, we're back, folks. Um, it's been almost a entire year um, since the last clip, mostly because I forgot to do it. But this is our demonstration of how incredibly quiet this is. Like a whisper, we can have all sorts of conversations with our new tires. This uh, this car is. Uh, you can see our little guy is kind of outgrowing it. And uh, it's moving on to a new home soon, but uh, it reminded me, oh wow, do we even post this video? So here's the proof. Uh, the bike tires, PL premiumed, to the, to the wheels made a uh, massive improvement. So uh, full credit to uh, guest on the show, Stephanie, for uh, her idea on this one. All right, that's it for uh, this time on Fixing Random Crap with Craig. Take it easy.